Hello everyone, um, this will be a bit of a training vlog in the old lactic church, the metabolic chamber, the pain cave, whatever you want to call it. So this was a bit of a, a push-pull leg session. Um, I'm training sort of Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday with push-pull legs being uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and then a bit of a longer bike ride on Sunday just to flush everything out. So this is just highlights of one of them. Um, could feel it for a couple of days. I, I remember this being on the Tuesday, I think it was. Um, and then on the Saturday I tried to do some pull-ups and dips uh, over at Stratford and I felt like I was running on fumes. I had absolutely nothing left and I think the majority of that was probably because of um, because of this session really, just going too hard, too early. Um, but yeah, we live and learn, don't we? I feel like bands really do take uh, quite a bit out of me compared to normal normal weight sessions unsure why um, I think I'm I'm eating eating less now than what I was before so recovery might not be up to scratch but hey, that's just uh, something that we can modulate eventually down the line um, yeah finishing off with some triceps here and then I think I eventually show um, yeah the big man shirt shout out to Seb for giving me the torso gear um, Wednesday I went for a bit of a run just to clean out those legs um, the leg session I think is coming up next so yeah the legs were it was pretty awful um, 650 squats one minute rest uh, I did about 12 and a half sets because <laughs> as you can see struggling pretty deep um, and then after that I did 150 single leg bridges to finish I think they were in sets of 30 uh, but yeah that was pretty awful so yeah but yeah I'll talk about this further in the next one Excuse the morning face. I've never been, never been a morning person, unfortunately. But I will take you through what I do in my day off, if I can. Day off? No, not day off. I'll take you through a normal, normal day with training. Maybe part is trip. Maybe part is trip. Maybe part is trip. Oh my God, I can't even speak. What am I saying? I don't know what this video is about again. Um, I promise you I'm going to uh, make sure I know what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to stop you here because I'm about to say something really strange. Those that know me know that in the mornings it can be hard to understand me, especially before coffee. So I'm going to warn you that <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. And this shot's probably very bad quality and you probably can't see me but... Anyone that can decipher that then uh, congratulations. Just a full day training most likely. I'll show you what I'm doing, I'll show you what I do. The reason for that mess behind me is because I got in later than usual last night and I could not be bothered moving my stuff. So apologies for all you tidy police, but that is the way the cookie crumbled. Especially because it has a 4K60, and I think it does. Yeah, I don't run ever, really. I'll give you guys a bit more detail over what training's looking like now. Um, now that gyms are shut, I do have some dumbbells on order. Uh, uh, Wish have refunded me though, and I've actually ordered some um, some 32 kilogram dumbbells. So hopefully they should come soon enough. But until that point, my sanity will be slowly decreasing. We'll have to see uh, how this body weight training stuff goes for the next week or so. You 
yes wagwan again so all these reps that i've been doing specifically those squats the other night got me thinking about the difference between metabolic stress and also uh, mechanical stress now if we're thinking about mechanical stress we're thinking about mostly uh, you know power lifters and whatnot and metabolic stress is more the uh, 18 year olds going out on the town for the first time and getting a bit of a bicep pump uh, so yeah the main difference is in lifting there um, ideally you know if we were if we we're freaks if we we're on roids if we didn't abide by general biological rules then high reps and high weights would be the best way to elicit these you know unholy gains as such um, but because we live in the real world and especially with the current situation where gyms aren't available as such uh, you know people have less equipment to use in-house um, people are generally going to resort more especially if they're wanting to you know somewhat build muscle more towards the metabolic side of things rather than the mechanical side of things not everyone has uh, plates and barbells in the house to do some squats and whatnot now that's not necessarily a bad thing both of them do lead to you know growth and you prefer to do a mix of both but because of the lack of equipment that we have where I specifically am leaning more towards the metabolic stress than anything else um, so it's just one to think about I'll link uh, a paper underneath a paper or two underneath that you can have a read about I don't reference tnation or bodybuilding.com don't worry um, it'll just be papers from here on out so yeah I don't want to bore you with the science I'll let the papers talk about the science just one to think about especially if you don't have um, any weights at home and whatnot I thought I'd show my face for this one I'm pretty sure you'd be getting tired of my voice so yeah thank you for sticking through this far anyway training today what, what was it now it was uh, banded push-ups uh, to pre-exhaustion so like two before failure and then I went into normal push-ups um, straight after about five or ten seconds after to again two before failure ish I did the same thing with uh, Bulgarian split squats bands up and around up, up and around we go and then as soon as I was about one or two I, I was a bit naughty I went one or two before before failure and then I went into the uh, normal uh, split squats I did this with squats and pull-ups thereafter uh, pull-ups I'll show you the pull-ups the squats you've seen enough squats today I know it's been a bit of a long one um, I've tried to get I've had like two training sessions in one day two training sessions in one video sort of thing so I think over the next one I'll have a bit more of a chronological order I promise <laughs> that I'll write things out of what I'm gonna do beforehand so the video is not as uh, out of order or out of whack um, hopefully by that time as well I'll have some uh, dumbbells come I don't even know if you guys want to see the training vlogs or training whatever I don't know uh, but yeah we'll, we'll get a bit more of an order next time so I'll see you in the next one